Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. That's great. And the rest of you? How is the rest of you doing? I'm a good teacher. Right, excellent. That's good to see you here. You're early today. Well, you're always early. <laughs> But that's nice. And have you been working on the platform? I think that Stephanie is almost done with the platform. And the rest? Yes, I make the several exercise and I uh was watching the problem that Stephanie had, the platform, because the, the exercise and the label five. Oh, okay, did you solve it? I can't because, uh, and I think that uh, I have a problem because uh, people, I am not sure that is uh, correct to uh, write down. Oh, okay, I understand. So we can go ahead and check that exercise. It is still one minute left, so we can start the class. Um, yes, we can check that one. Let's see. I, I was checking it and I was trying to complete it, but I had to also prepare the class and the presentation. So um, I did what I could. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one, section five. And I think it's the second exercise. Uh, it's, it was this one, right? Was this the exercise? Stephanie, uh, right. can you hear me? We can hear you, teacher. Okay, um, so I don't know where is Rodrigo or Stephanie, they were working in this exercise. But maybe they left. Okay, so we can check it later. And let's just start with this. Well, uh, yesterday you told me that you wanted to practice the uh, gerunds, right? So I modified the presentation and I added two, uh, two slides more. So I resent the presentation today since I modified it. And we're going to go ahead and study that, making a review. Uh, okay, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher I can see. Okay, we so. Great. So I modified the presentation uh, and added two more slides since you wanted to review the, the, the ING or the gerunds spelling rules. I see that a few people is in the class, but we need to start. Okay, so with words with one syllable, they follow these rules, okay? Verbs that end in E, um, for example, make or write, we omit or we drop the E and add ING. As you can see the examples here with make, 
right? It ends up in the vowel E. So we drop that and add ing, right? Drop the E, add ing, write in. Drive, drop the E and write driving with ing again. Then it says that sometimes a word ends in a vowel plus a consonant. For example, get, run, swim. Before adding ing, the consonant at the end is doubled. For example, with get, getting, run, running, and swim, swimming. In all these examples, we have doubled the last consonant. We are not going to double the letter if the word ends into consonants. For example, help, it ends into consonants. So in this case, we're not going to double the last one. Talk is another example that ends into consonants. We don't need to double here. And the same with work. We do not double the letter if the word ends into vowels plus a consonant. For example, look. We don't duplicate the letters since they um, end up with two, two vowels. Read, same case, and speak is another example. We're not going to double the letter if the word ends in W, X, or Y. So you can see here, ah, oh, but it ends in a vowel plus a consonant. Yes, but if that consonant is W, X, or Y, we are not going to double the last consonant. Is that clear? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So we're going to practice these spelling rules with the following verbs. Oh, it's not moving. <laughs> oh my God, it's frozen. Next, okay, click. Okay, we have uh, these verbs. I would like you to add the ing following the previous rule that we review. You can do that in your notebooks. I'll give you uh, four minutes. Or maybe three is enough, three minutes. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. How are you, Jenny? Uh, I'm late. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, was it traffic? I, yes, because my my children, I they went to the play soccer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When I, I finish my work, I went to the practice with my my kids. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, we already reviewed the ing spelling rules, and we are practicing adding ing to this verb list that we have here. Okay.
Okay, it is time. So we're going to check the first one. It's watch. Uh, for watch, what did you do, Rodrigo? What I watching? Just ing. Yes, only ing. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, Jose, number two. Stopping, double P. Stopping with double P. Okay, good. Stephanie, number three. Hey, Ben, is the change E for eyes? Okay, having, having, you drop the E having. and I, ing. Okay, very good. Thank you. Steve, what do you have for number four? Plan. Uh, planning. Just ing or you did anything else? I add other M. Okay, you doubled the N. Okay, good. Uh, Henry, what about talk? Is uh, is uh, the word is playing? Mm -hmm. Did you do any additional change or just add ing? Uh, only uh, ing. Okay, very good. Carol, can you continue? Yes. Uh, tell, talking. Uh-huh. Talking. Yes. Uh, ING. ING, just that. Okay, very good. Uh, number seven, Franklin. Number seven. Yes, please. Uh, showing. Just add the ING or you did something additional? Mm. Only ING. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Ruben, meeting. Any additional change? Sorry, miss. You don't have it? No. Okay, no I worries. In, in, this, in this moment. Oh, this okay, way. no worries. <laughs> Jesus, Thank you. do you have that one? Yes. Meeting. Uh huh. Only ing or? Yes, only ing. Okay, double good. Double T. Uh, someone said double T, some other people ing. Uh, what happened here? Uh, there, there, is, there are double two vowels. Okay, exactly. Two vowels do not duplicate the T, right? Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation vocal, the vocals? Vowel. Vowel. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Uh, so number nine, Phil, Andrea? I think it's good. Just okay. ING. Okay, very good, just ING, Herbert, cut. The first, first rule, the first rule. Uh, just consonant ing. Yes. Double T. Double T. With double T. The first rule. Yes, it's with double T. Luis. Sitting. Only ing. Okay, very good. Uh, David. Uh, winning with double N. Winning with double N. Okay. Very good. Yes. Check your answer here. Number one, watching, you just add ING. Stop. With double P. ¿Por qué duplicamos la P en stop? Because there are uh, vowel and consonant. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. So because there is a, it has that that uh, we have a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. One syllable and it's stressed. Stop. 
stopping, WP. Now, having, uh, as it ends in E, we drop it and add ING. Planning, yes, plan, plan. So it has the consonant, vowel and consonant. So we double the last consonant. Pay, well, that one's the one that is like common, right? And talk, talking, show, showing, and we didn't double it, right? ¿Por qué no duplicamos en show? Si decimos, ah, pero tiene consonant, vowel, and consonant. ¿Por qué no duplicamos? Because the rules say that when the, the end letter is uh, W, X, or Y, it's only uh, I and G. Excellent. Ajá. Porque la regla dice que si terminan en eh, W, X, o Y, entonces no duplicamos. ¿Ok? Good okay. one. It's the exactly. same with mid. Cuando es mid, sí, pero vemos vocal, consonante, pero hay una doble vocal. Entonces, cuando hay doble vocal o cuando hay doble consonante, no se duplica la última consonante. ¿Qué es lo que sucede aquí en mid? Como tenemos dos vocales juntas, entonces no duplicamos la T. Solo le agregamos ING. Eh, lo mismo con feel. Es doble consonante. Entonces no vamos a ponerle otra L ahí. Imagínense cómo se miraría. So, we don't do that. En cut, sí la duplicamos porque no tiene doble consonante ni doble vocal. Y lleva ese pattern, right? Vowel and consonant, stress, double does one. Eh, lo mismo pasó con win. Podíamos duplicar ahí la última consonante, pues porque no teníamos ninguna excepción con eso. Ok, so con esto terminamos el review de las ING spelling rules. Creo que ya pues afinamos un poco eso o hay alguna pregunta aún la pueden hacer. ¿Hay preguntas aún? Sí. Forgive my ignorance. Uh, what is fix? Fix, este. Yes. Arregla. Fix es um, arreglar, es reparar algo. It's like to repair. Yes, it's similar. Uh -huh. You can say that you fix a car. Yes. Es como yeah. reparar o arreglar algo. Very good. Uh, all questions are valid questions. Cualquier pregunta, no se queden con la duda. Háganla. Ok. So, any other question? No question. Ok. Good. So, we're going to move, like, uh, I added this one as a general knowledge. Eh, veo una manita levantada por ahí. Es Luis, la tiene levantada desde el principio o tiene una pregunta? No, teacher. Ok, good. So, um, I added this. Uh, les agregué esto como conocimiento general, ¿verdad? Ayer estuvimos viendo infinitives in germ for uses and purposes. Y surgieron algunas preguntas por ahí, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que un germ es el ING, pero no siempre. Cuando veamos un yearn, no siempre es que estamos hablando de una acción en, en, en continuo, ¿verdad? Es, es, es otra estructura y se acompaña del verbo be. Los yearn tienen diferentes funciones y aquí pues les puse este, um, like additional knowledge about what is the infinitive and the, the yearn. What are the most common um, uses for these ones? And we have a, that infinitive, to form an infinitive, you just add the, the particle two before the verb. And we make that infinitive. After verbs, they can be like, uh, after verbs agree, appear, arrange, attempt, decide, expect, fail, hope, near, up. Offer, promise, refuse, want, and wish. For example, I wanted to meet him. So, después de estos verbos, 
we can place an infinitive, right? Okay. Uh, yes, what you can do is to practice them because, well, those are the most common, like we say, we agree after that one, we need an infinity. We agree to, um, to have our classes at eight, for example. Um, I attempt to call you yesterday, right? Intenté llamarte ayer, por ejemplo. I attempt to call you yesterday. And we have uh, uh, the example here. I wanted to meet him. So after these verbs, we need to place an infinitive. Now, um, after verb plus object combination, we have some here. We have advice, allow, ask, cause, encourage, forbid, force, instruct, invite, order, permit, pursue, refer, recommend, remind, require, teach, tell, tempt, warn. I ask him to come. What, where is the object in the example? What, what is the object? Ask. Uh, ask is a verb. Do it right. Him. To call. Him. 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 Uh -huh. Him. Remember that. Acuérdense que el objeto es el que recibe la acción. Uh, remember the object pronouns? For I, for ejemplo, para mí, ¿cuál es el object pronoun? I. The object pronoun? Me? Me, exactly. You? Me. You. You, uh -huh. uh, he? Him. 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 She? Her. 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 It? It. It. Them. It, uh-huh. Um, we? Oh. Us. Oh. Us. us, us, uh, and our, <laughs> yes, us is, is a, porque our is un possessive, right? Yes. So, very good. And the last one is they. Them. 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 Uh -huh. Them. Very good. Uh, questions? Ok, so, en esta estructura eh, se, puede, se, se necesita un infinitive cuando va luego de un verbo como estos. Luego tenemos el object, que son los que acabamos de mencionar. Y aclaramos que el object es quien, a quien recibe la acción o a quien se está dirigiendo la acción. Eh, y luego el to con cualquiera de estos verbos. Y tenemos I ask. El sujeto soy yo. Yo le pregunté a quién, him, a él. So, el him es él quien recibió la acción. A él es quien yo le pregunté. Por eso se llama object. El sujeto soy I. Quien va a recibir la acción, him. Eso es el objeto. Ok, so I ask him to come. Yo le pedí al que viniera. I ask him to come. So after all those verbs, we can use an um, object and uh, an infinitive combination. So it's it's a, a, yes. Um, other example. Other example. So I can say um, I I advise her. I advise her to continue studying, right? Y ahí tengo los dos. O puedo decir, yo le aconsejé a ella que no fuera. I advise her not to go. Teacher? Yes? It's possible to say, uh, I asked him to invite her. Excellent, yes. 
I asked him to invite her. Uh -huh. Igual okay. para, podría decir el nombre de ella, ¿verdad? I asked him to invite Maria, for example. But yes, cualquiera de esa opción. Buen ejemplo. Excellent. Yeah. Any other question or example that you want to check? Este es bien usado. Se usa bastante. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, con el eh, verbo recommend. 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 Eh, ¿Cómo formulo la pregunta? ¿Cómo le, cómo le pongo el... Ok, el, for example, el you uh -huh. can say... Um, I see my boss uh, very stressed, okay? I recommend him to see a doctor. Or I recommend him to take vitamins. I recommend her to drink a uh, hot tea, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Anybody else before we continue? Okay, so let's see in the number three after adjectives. Okay, who wants to read this one after adjectives? Number three, volunteer. Voy a prestar la guitarra. Me Byron. <laughs> okay, Byron levantó la manita. Okay, Byron, go ahead. Yeah, on the number three, we got feelings, anxious, eager, delighted, and etc. And for example, I'm sorry to be a noses. Noses. Uh huh. Nonsense. Mm -hmm. Probability, continue. Probability. Okay. Uh, probability, certain, likely, possible. For example, it is necessary to go there. Okay, very good. Um, any questions here? For nonsense. It's the same like nonsense, mm, or it's no, different, it's, or is the pronoun? Yeah, nuisance, uh, like nuisance is like a molestia. Okay. I'm sorry to be a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Molestia. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I'm example? glad that you are getting new vocabulary. That's excellent. And we are reviewing the topics as well. Um, yes? Uh, can I say uh, I'm in scarf to talk in this class? Uh huh. To talk in this class, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling, really. Yes. Oh. Um. You can say also I am anxious to participate in today's class. Okay. Expressing <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Okay. Most common. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard. I I know that being in class after uh, uh, work or after going to college and then classes is kind of tiring, but it's good that you're making your effort. Okay. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, and number four. Who wants to read number four? Let's see. Me, teacher. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. With birth, stop, remember, forget, regret, go on, future action. For example, remember to pick up your dry cleaning. First, remember them, pick up. Previous action, example, 
I remember visiting my great grandmother. First, visit it, then remember. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. And this one, number four and five, is we can do the the two ways. Okay. So vamos a pasarnos a los germs porque en este, en el cuatro y en cinco, es que se puede hacer de las dos formas. Okay. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Now, germ, okay. we have an example of a germ. It's doing. Um, um, volunteer to read the number one. Volunteer to read the number one. Okay, Jose, thank you. Number one, after birth, a boy bear Consider Danny the test, dislike, endure, enjoy, imagine, involve, mention, my. I have trouble with that word, practice, resent, risk, postpone, stem. Example, I enjoy shopping. Okay, very, very good. Me too. Thank you so much. Um, uh, what? <laughs> I <miss> you. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is that? I think it's Miss. Uh, miss? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay, what is uh, the, the confusion here? I, I couldn't read it. Uh, miss is like that. You did it good. Mm hmm. Miss, yeah, miss. Extrañar, eh, but... eh, It depends. Uh, it can as miss or it can be like olvidar algo, omitir algo, faltar. extrañar, faltar, mm -hmm. como oh, faltar a clases. Okay. I missed classes yesterday, for example. Or I missed oh, okay. yesterday's class. Mm -hmm. Puede ser perder algo también o omitir okay. algo. Sí, tiene varios significados. Uh -huh. Ok, so después de estos verbos, se puede usar un gerund. Uh, questions about these verbs? And in this one is deny. That pronunciation, deny. Es como, con, deny. Bueno, deny. 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 Teacher, what is the meaning for deny? Uh, deny is like negar. Mm, okay. Any other question? Me, I just one thing. Yes. It's for enjoy. It's going to be with ing. Uh, in, for example, on the shopping. I enjoy. Or it will be also for enjoy by like ending with ing. Uh, no, it, it's uh, for a, it can be with another verb. I enjoy. In this case, the example is shopping. Uh, but you can use some other verbs. For example, I enjoy going out with my friends. I enjoy drinking coffee in the morning. Was that your question? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Okay, you're more than welcome. And uh, yes, for this one, we can do it both way. Cuando son verbos que expresan emociones, como por ejemplo, enjoy, hate, like, o dislike, se puede hacer con gerund o con infinitive. Por ejemplo, aquí, si en vez de hacerlo con gerund, lo quiero hacer con infinitive, ¿cómo me quedaría la oración? I enjoy... To shop. I enjoy to shop. To shop. Uh -huh. Excellent. Eh, con hate, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, 
eh, odio um, lavar los trastes. I hate washing the dishes. Um, the ajá, dishes. puedo hacerlo. Con infinitive, ¿cómo me quedaría? I hate to wash the dishes. Excellent. I hate to wash the dishes. Ahora con Jaron, ¿cómo quedaría? I hate washing the dishes. I hate, I hate washing, the dishes. washing the dishes. ¿Se puede de ambas formas? Yes, con verbos que expresen feeling, como les decía, cuando es enjoy, <coughs> like, dislike, hate. Love. Love. love, yes, love also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after prepositions, I volunteer to read. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. After, after preposition, example, is he still interested in the dance, in dancing? Okay, thank you so much. We discussed that yesterday, right? Remember that after any preposition in, on, at, for, after prepositions, use gerunds. Uh, questions here? No questions. Uh, uh, can you give more examples, please? Sure. Um, let's see, yarns after prepositions. Let me take my magical whiteboard. Okay. Um, so, Ay, según yo estaba escribiendo, ¿por qué no escribe? Ok. So we have the preposition at. I am good at singing. Right? That's true or it's an example? No, it's just Can an example. You... <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> ok, so that is one. Now, with at, that is with at, let's see, um, for. Okay, I use my camera for taking pictures. Hi, my friend. Okay, uh, here we have another one. My friend is interested in taking a new training. So at, right, for, in, okay. So after any preposition, después de cualquier preposición, si va a utilizar un verbo, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing. Okay. Okay, miss. Okay, let's continue with the presentation we were here. Okay. Now, as subject and complement, um, who wants to read this one? Number three. As subject, a subject and, and as vamos a ver. <laughs> as subject and complement example, gambling is a waste of time. What really gets on my nerves is singing 
out if sun. If sun, okay. If sun. Very, very good. Thank you so much. Now, um, Thank you. that is uh, what I explained you yesterday, right? Um, un germ puede ser el sujeto de la oración. Cuando vamos a empezar la oración con un verbo, este tiene que ser con ing. Y tenemos el ejemplo aquí, gambling is a waste of time. Eh, y también puede ser un complemento. What really gets on my nerves is singing out of its tone, right? Is singing what of, of what? Of gambling. Gam gambling. Okay, gambling is a uh, jugar, pero apostando, apostar, apuestas. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't gambling. Okay. Any other question about number three? Okay, with number four, we have with the verb stop, remember, forget, regret, go on. Okay, but we're going to use it with infinitive with those verbs if it is a future action. There, there is a difference. If it is a future action, we use infinitive. If we are referring to a previous action, we're going to use Jaron form. We yeah. have, yes, the example, remember to pick up your cleaning, right? So it's for a future action using remember. Okay, and this one for an, a previous actions, I remember visiting my great grandmother. Okay, first visiting and then remember because there is something that happened in the past. Okay, so I can say, I remember going to the grocery store. Yeah, when I was a child. What about chocolates? Byron, do you have any question? Yes, uh, between the parentheses, uh, the, the parentheses, it said first visited. So it's ended up with ED. But on the sentence, it's visiting. Why visited. we don't use uh -huh. visit? Okay. I thought that it was visited because it was a previous action in the past or... Uh, no, no, no. It, it, yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, it's a valid question. Remember that what you see in parentheses is like an explanation. Okay. Uh, and it says first remember and then pick up. And then the other explanation is first visited and then remember. So uh, it is uh, for a previous action. Quiere decir que la visitó y luego tuvo recuerdos de cuando la visitaba, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, cuando nosotros expresamos utilizando gerund, una acción del pasado, sería como así. I remember visiting my great grandmother. Se entiende que usted está hablando de una acción previa y no necesariamente está usando el pasado simple, porque podría decir lo mismo utilizando el pasado simple, decir, I remember when I visited my grandmother. Right? Se puede I hacer también. Thank you. Ajá. En este, cuando vamos a hablar de una acción en pasado, podemos hacerlo usando pasado simple o eh, utilizando un gerund. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Por ejemplo, si esta mañana eh, uh, uh, pasó algo emocionante esta mañana y me acuerdo, uh, uh, let's see, me trajeron un pastelito chiquito. I remember um, 
I remember my son sending me a cake in the morning. Yeah. Mm. Ya me mandó el pastel y de repente me, me acordé de eso tan bonito de la mañana. Y me estoy refiriendo a algo del pasado. Y yo sin adjourn. ¿Y quedó un poquito más claro ahora? Yes. O los confundí más. No, ya. Yeah. No. <laughs> Okay. Um, I got the idea when we use gerunds. Okay, very good. So, esto se utiliza mucho, mucho, mucho. Los gerunds y los infinitives son muy utilizados. So, um, then the number five, it's, es lo que les expliqué ya. Con verbos like love and hate, cuando expresamos emociones, eh, decíamos uh, like, dislike, love, hate, enjoy. Con esos tipos de verbos podemos usarlos eh, de ambas formas. Y no hay diferencia en el significado. Y era como los ejemplos que hicimos eh, hace un ratito. I, I hate to wash the dishes or I hate washing the dishes. Eh, Para ocasionales, uh, acciones ocasionales, preferiblemente es un infinitive. Y si es algo regular, algo que hacemos con frecuencia, eh, preferiblemente usamos gerund. Pero tampoco es una regla a la cual hay que apegarse, ¿verdad? Lo podemos hacer de ambas formas. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Ok. Now. No questions. Ok, sí. ahora que ya repasamos las reglas del ING y de los, um, cómo se usan los infinitives y los gerunds, en nuestra sección 2 vamos a utilizarlo solo para eh, expresar uses and purposes. Nos vamos a enfocar en expresar uses and purposes using gerunds uh -huh. and infinitive. Eh, we saw the video yesterday. In the video, we explained that um, we can use both, okay? And we have two sentences. They are very similar. The meaning is the same. We are expressing purpose in both. We have the first one. Um, I use my cell phone to call my friends. That is with an infinitive. The infinitive is formed by adding two. Uh, before the main verb and the and remember this is very important that we don't modify the verbs okay eh, no se modifica el verbo no se conjuga por ejemplo si yo quiero decir um, yo quería yo quería ser mm, una doctora ¿Cómo me quedaría la oración? Usando infinitive. I wanted to be a doctor. Yes, excellent. I, I wanted to be a doctor. El verbo be no lo estoy conjugando. Si lo conjugo tendría que ser am, is, or are. Pero esto se refiere con que el verbo va en su forma simple, en su forma básica. No los conjugamos, no le agregamos s ni es, nada. Ok. Uh, so, with the gerund, the same sentence with the gerund, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. As you see, we are adding the preposition for, and then the verb plus ing, meaning the same thing. Um, with the same purpose, same use. Remember that for an infinitive, we must use to before the verb. With germs, we are going to use the preposition for and then the germs. Y aquí teníamos algo, ejemplos de lo que no es correcto. I don't see that necessary, but yes. Uh, Byron, you have a question? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Se quedó acalambrada la manita. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. so sorry. <laughs> okay, no worries, that's okay. Now, with these infinitives and gerunds, we are going to use them as we were saying before to um, express uses and purposes of something. 
So with infinity, we have the example here. I use my computer to send emails. With gerunds, I use my computer for sending emails. Some people use computers to play games. Some people use computers for playing games. Computers are often used to watch movies. Computers are often used for watching movies. Okay. Now, what do we know about this technology? Let us complete the sentences in column A with information from column B. We can use infinitives and germs and more than one combination is possible in this exercise. So you can go ahead and match them. You can write number one and then the letter that matches there. Like satellites are used. Let's see what could match here. Study the world weather. Okay, we have the example here. Satellites are used to study the world's weather, or we can also have satellites are used for studying the world's weather. So you can write a, either using infinitive or gerund. Okay, I'll give you some time and then you will chart your um, sentences.
Okay, let's see who would like to give examples. Um, volunteer. Okay, Jesus. Okay, robot, robots are, are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks. Excellent, good job. Any other volunteer? For the same or for, for the number three? Um, the one that you feel more comfortable, la que tenga y la que quiera compartir, that's okay. okay. <laughs> number three, you can use a cell phone to send text message. Okay, excellent example. Thank you so much, Maria. Thanks. Anybody else? You, Me. you can use the cell phone send text messages. Okay. People well, Yes, Stephanie. People use people use the internet to shop online or people use the internet for shopping online. Excellent. Both ways. Excellent. Anybody else? Uh, me teacher. Okay. Uh, GPS device is used that direction. Okay. Make travel. Um, no, uh, sorry, get direction. To get directions. Okay, very good. To get directions. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Uh, can be used to make travel reservation. Okay, good job. Anybody else? Okay, if there are no more examples. Uh, okay, we're going to stop here. Yes? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I heard something. Else. Okay, so we're going to stop here and uh, tomorrow we will continue with the next part. We have another exercise related to this topic. Um, we're going to develop that one tomorrow. And remember to keep on working on the platform. Okay, so we need to complete um, section one, two, three and the midterm exam. When we finish the second week of classes or class number eight, all those exercises must be done. If you have any question, you can write the WhatsApp group and then we can help you. Okay. Until which day we, we need to get already done the section one, two, and three, you said, I'm sorry? It's for the class number eight, for the second week. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I got it. Thank you. If you can do section four and five, not a problem. You can complete those two sections too. Okay. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Any other Thank question? You. You're more than welcome. Hay alguna pregunta? Okay. <laughs> so it's a good night, Maria. Uh, so thank you for joining today's section. So I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>